my name is Fiona and welcome back to Crafted by Rose. In today's video we are going to have an untubing. So not an unboxing this time but an untubing. As we can, you can probably tell this is a little bit different to what I normally open. I normally tend to open Diamond Art Clubs. This canvas however does come to us from Evermoment. So Evermoment is a store on AliExpress. It's one of the only, actually it is the only store I will buy from on AliExpress due to the fact I've had so many bad experiences with other stores on there that sell diamond paintings. So let's talk about the packaging with this just before we get into the canvas. So what I like in particular about their packaging compared to some of the others you, you get sent to you from different stores in AliExpress is the fact that they ship all their canvases in these tubes so you don't have to worry about your canvas coming to you damaged these tubes as you can hear are rock solid so you have not got to worry about these getting crushed and then your diamond painting getting damaged that's just not a thing and they do put this nice little pretty little bow on it that makes it seem even more like a present than it already is because let's be honest it is a treat to ourselves so with I have noticed with every moment's tubing one thing is sometimes the colours will change normally the tube will be a purple tube every other every moment I've ever had it's always been purple but occasionally you tend to apparently get the, the brown ones which it doesn't really matter but I do love pur the purple so yeah let's get into this one <laughs> So let's just put this tube to one side. So first off, we have the Evermoment Toolkit. So with Evermoment's Toolkit, you really do get everything you will need to complete your diamond painting. Before I go into this toolkit a little bit further, it will, is worth mentioning that Diamond Art Club, Diamond Art Club, it is worth mentioning that Evermoment only do square drill canvases. So that is something you need to bear in mind. Personally, I love that because I much prefer doing squares so with that said let's have a look at their toolkit so you get your diamond applicator or your drill pen you get the two squishes instead of one so you get a bonus squishy and you do get a multi-placer so this is a three placer it's one of the thicker ones then we have the macaroon caddy of wax so inside you'll get your wax so you get let's see one two three so you get four pieces of wax inside your little macaroon can caddy part so it stores your wax way neat and tidy and you know where to find it this is a bit difficult to lose so I say that because sometimes I tend to misplace my wax if I'm just having it laying around. But with a caddy like this, you're less likely to lose it like I sometimes do. So. The sheath rack on here. So these are the tweezers that you get with Every Moment's canvases. All their canvases will come with tweezers because they only do square drill kits. And they're... Tweezers are branded with the ever moment on the end. These are the sharp pointed tweezers. So you do need to be careful with these that you don't accidentally shank yourself. So they do give you a cover to put on the end. So that way you don't end up shanking yourself. So let's put those to one side. Then you have your drill tray. This is the white MOSFET drill tray. Out of the two trays that you tend to get standard with an AliExpress company, this and the green boat, I much prefer this one. I hate the green boat. It's too small. Yeah, it's just a nightmare. But if I'm going to have one of the free drill trays, I prefer the white must for one. We have a nine placer. 
and also they give you what they class as a free gift and for me it's always been washi tape sorry it was in swing so they do give you a free gift and it's normally washi tape at least in my experience so that way you can go either around the edges of your canvas to cover the any bits of adhesive that's going past your drill area or you can use it to section off your diamond painting so with so with every moment's canvases you really do get everything you're going to need to complete your painting you've got your tray you've got your pen you've got your multi placers you've got your tweezers and you have your tape your wax comes in the caddy so let's get this back in pop that back on get that in there and my little mirroring caddy of wax so there is our toolkit let's get into this canvas let's put that on there for a moment so here you have your drills you do have two packs of drills you get them in the resealable bags. I love these resealable bags. It makes it very easy to store your drills away. The only thing that I wish every moment would change is the way they package the drills. They still do those little mini packs of 200 and you get like multiples because obviously if you need 100, you're going to should I say if you're going to need 1,000, then you're going to need a few of these. I'd rather they just either stick to the one packet for each colour like other sellers do but oh well so there are the drills get into those a bit more detail in a minute so with the canvas you get hold on that's the wrong side that's this one the side with English so statement of diamonds we are using so they do give you the information about what diamonds or drills, however you refer to them, diamonds or drills, people tend to refer to them with both of those terms and sometimes they just intermingle. So the difference of diamonds made from resin and acrylic. There are two kinds of diamonds recently in the market which are made from resin and acrylic. As a seller of diamond painting, we think that we are responsible for telling you the difference between to telling the difference to all of our buyers, friends, who definitely have the option, more option, suitable option to choose. As we know, some sellers state that they're using resin diamonds, but in fact are using acrylic. One, the price of resin diamonds are more expensive than their acrylic counterparts, and because of the cost of the material, some sellers stick to acrylic drills. And due to the difficulty in production with resin with drills, again, that's another reason other sellers tend to go towards acrylic diamonds. So how to distinguish between resin diamonds and acrylic diamonds? Resin diamonds, the price of the diamonds or the diamond painting you buy is two times more expensive than others. Two, having defective diamonds. Three, more shine weight and elegance in light acrylic diamonds the price is half as cheap than others two almost having no defective diamonds some having small holes in the flat of the bo flat bottom of your diamond or being less shiny weight not very good quality the english translation is not particularly great so but it, you get the gist so here we have our inventory sheet so this is the image that i got 
this painting has in 42 colors so what i will do with this because i'm gonna i will be using this to kit up in this row here it just lists how many diamonds you have of each color so the first row is like your first shade the symbol and a dmc number and then the fourth column is for how many you need of that particular diamond so this bit i will cut off and i'll just keep the symbol and the dmc number i'll cut the this out in a strip run it through as xeron sticker maker and then just make my own labels from this so yeah so this does have 42 colors in it it is worth mentioning at the moment every moment don't offer a b drills within their kits whether that's something they will change going forward we'll have to wait and see they have recently changed their canvases so now they there was a stage where they only offered to sell double-sided adhesive then recently people over the what past year 18 months people have been asking for cord glue they was initially hesitant but they went ahead and did kind of like a trial run where you could either have your canvas in double-sided adhesive or cord glue and now the trial i believe it's probably over now because they're now stating that they only offer cord glue which i do prefer so they have listened and upgraded to pour glue so maybe at some point in the future they will put in av drills in their kits so let's have a look at this canvas itself so i'm not seeing any problems on the back of this canvas sometimes we double sided adhesive canvases you can get wrinkles and puckers in the back but so far so good So with their canvases, let's just see if I can. So they have the branding in the top left corner with their ever moment. And then on this side you will have your on this side here you have the copy of your image, the name, the code for that particular painting and the size. So this particular canvas is a 30, centi 30 by 60 and then you will have another copy of your legend as well. They also do do these scalloped edges, so if I bring this up a bit closer, they do do the scalloped edges so you haven't got to worry about your canvas fraying. So let's get into this. I'm just rubbing this down so the adhesive don't lift doesn't lift should i say sometimes that can be a problem you have with double-sided adhesive what's that let's get that see now this here let's get you up so you can see there where the double-sided adhesive is extending past your drilling area so this part here would be the part where you'd go around your canvas with your washi tape so that when you're diamond painting and you perhaps lean on your canvas, you're not going to get fuzzies from your top here. It, you know, it just doesn't look good when that happens. So if you ha happen to have washi tape or your kit came with washi tape, that's where you can place it around there and it stops you getting all the fuzzies. So just peeling this back slowly. So here we have our canvas. I'm not going to take this all the way off because I'm never going to get it back on if I do, but I will peel it as back as far as I can without 
using it. So let's get you into frame. Let's zoom you in. So here we have the drill field and so far I am not seeing any problems. So your symbol clarity is there. You've got nice clear symbols. So let's do this this way, zoom out, so and there is the canvas, hold this, I'm trying to get it in screen for you, so that's so uh, I just love this kind of like cherry blossom, it's fallen off and just laying in the rain which this is kind of I get this so this is the image this so that's the image that we've got so if you notice here it's kind of like it's fallen off the tree and now it's in the rain so yeah it's just a really pretty picture that it's a snack size as well so I thought it would be something that worked up quickly and I love the colour palette of it it's got the blues and the pinks and then you've got, got a little bit of yellow in the center and then you've got to go into more of orange shades here so there we have that and here are the drills so like i said earlier you have got two bags of drills with this so bag one, bag two. So, so you've got now this is what I meant with the different all these different size little bags of the same colour. So all of these are 9.72 and they'll give you two of the 1,000 bags and then you've got these little ones as well which these I believe are 200 so instead of like giving you two large bags you've ended up with six different ones where it could have just been one some, for some of you and um, some people this isn't actually for quite a few people it's probably not an issue but to me i just don't like when they do this many bags when it's all just one car i think it's one it's a waste of plastic and when this cat this particular craft isn't particularly environmentally friendly to begin with let's be fair but this just makes the whole situation worse but and then the other thing I find it tedious having to open all these little packets instead of just being able to open one or two and it takes you that much longer to get up. So let's have a look at your drill quality. I personally have never had a problem with Evermoments drills. With them only working with squares, you would hope that the drill quality would be there because that's what they've decided to specialise with. Let's... Then, see, there we go. So, let's have a look. So, we've got the, the quite a few orange shades here. Because quite a large part of this canvas is different orange shades. So as you can see where I've started to separate them out into two different piles. That this painting really does have quite a few different shades of 
orange and yellow because pretty much the top half of this painting is all in that colour range. So as you can tell, this pile compared to this pile, it's it really is half the canvas. So if you if orange isn't your colour, then this may not be the kit for you. So let's have a look at some of these drills. So we have 740. We have 970. Thirty-eight fifty-four. We have nine twenty-one. Thirty-seven seventy-one. Nine forty-eight. Nine seven six. Seven two five. That's a nice bright yellow. Oh, I love this peach. Now for a the moment there, I thought they would be two, you just to put them from behind. I was thinking they was the same colour, but they are slightly different shading. So that is 353 and that is 37.71. So there will be some nice shading in this painting. We have three five six thirty eight thirty kind of our egg yolk yellow, so we have seven four two four o oh, two. We have a nice bright blue, which is our thirty eight forty four. Nice mint green, 598. We have 327, which is more of a purple in Ever Moments kits, where most of the companies get more of a mauve. Then we have 552. So we do have a little bit of purple in this kit. And as you know, I, purple is my favourite colour. We have a nice royal blue, so 791. We have 792, so again, we will have some shading. Some 312, so we do have some nice blues in the bottom of the painting. And down here, where we have like the, what looks to be raindrops. Some nice burgundy, so 915. More of a neutral shade, R3861. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure if that was 61 or 51 there. And we have some grey here as well. So that is it for today's unboxing. This, you know, untubing, because every moment it does do the tubes, and I love these tubes because your painting isn't getting damaged in this. So. I will be calling this painting the Lotus Blossom. It's a nice snack size painting at 30 by 60 and really nice bright colours in this painting. I won't be starting this one until the new year. It's got more of a spring vibe to me with all the bright colours. But I hope you've enjoyed looking at this kit as much as I have. If you have then please do give this video a like if you would like to see more content like this and you're not already subscribed then please click on to the subscribe button and if you are already subscribed to the channel then please make sure you have your notifications bell turned on that way you'll get a notification of when i upload another video with that said thank you for joining me today and i hope to see you all next time bye <music>